Uh, as was the case with uh, many of the steps in this process, you can take this over to your table saw and get the majority of the wood out of there. That's one of the uh, one of the nice aspects of uh, a flat panel. So you can do a lot of it on a table saw if you want. Just tilt the blade and cut out this waste. Uh, or you can use a hand plane. Uh, there's a couple different options for hand planes. Uh, a shoulder plane, a real wide shoulder plane will work really well. In fact, I'll start up here along the scribe line just uh, basically uh, decreasing the depth of this field, this outside field to whatever I want my fillet to be. In this case I'll probably use oh, a full sixteenth, maybe even three thirty seconds um, for a uh, fillet depth. So you want to basically decrease the depth of the field and then, the, then once I have that I'll just connect from the, this point up here at the base of the fillet to the scribe line that I, I put from the back, this, this short offset from the back. And just connect those two lines with my shoulder plane. That will work really well. You can also, with this wood, with the curly maple, you may have a little trouble uh, with the grain. And uh, usually a shoulder plane, the nice thing about the shoulder plane is you can come from either direction. That will usually work out okay. Um, I just got this this week from somebody on Sawmill Creek. Uh, there's a, uh, a skew rabbit plane as well that uh, you can use. So this has got a skewed blade and uh, it should work great. I intend to uh, try it out on this piece. So uh, that's the method I'll use. Use whatever method you want though and uh, put in the bevel and I will stop back as we get close to finishing this up just to show you the progress. I didn't like it very well so I went back to my trusty shoulder plane. Uh, the nice thing about the shoulder planes is I can come at this wood either direction. Uh, so whichever one gives me the least tear out, cuts the grain best I can switch to. And then I can also trim up this, um, this fillet really nicely as well. So what you want to do is, um, like I said, stamp down the fillet first. Get that all the way around with your rabbit plane. And then come back and level off the shoulders. I'm just about done here. The last step is to get this miter to, to line up from this corner to this corner. And uh, this, this, this side isn't down far enough yet. So, um, really not too hard to do. To be honest, I was really expecting more tear out with this shoulder plane than I'm getting. It's really cutting very nicely. on this now. I'm not using mineral spirits. This is cutting pretty well. So, uh, Almost down to my scribe line. I'll call that good. So the panel's complete and the next thing we can do is see how it fits in the frame. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and we'll try it out. The frame over here. Figure looks really nice. 
Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, I have that in an upside down, but uh, last thing I'll do before glue up is just spend some time cleaning up all the edges. Uh, it's easier to, this, this raised panel actually sticks proud of the door frame just slightly. Could go more than this even, but um, so it'll be harder to, to clamp and maneuver on the bench, at least uh, to work on the back side after it's glued up. So now's a good time to uh, go ahead and, and, and make sure everything's in its final form. You could also cut in the lock set, uh, cut in the half um, mortise lock set. I made, uh, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but you could do that now. Uh, but uh, at least spend some time getting things cleaned up before glue up.